Scan. Building community through media. This is Community Profiles, a look at local organizations that are making a difference in your community. I'm Brooke Stanford. There are millions of people in this world who are unable to walk. Monty Reed has spent 20 years trying to change that, and he's in the midst of developing what's called the life suit, correct? That's correct. Tell me about it. How did it happen? Well, I had uh, a couple decades ago, I was jumping out of perfectly good airplanes in the U.S. Army Rangers, had a parachute accident. While I was in the hospital, I got an idea for the robotic suit, and because it was going to give me my life back, I called it the life suit. And in 2001, I built the first prototype, and I'm now climbed into prototype number 14 of the life suit. And about to show us what it Just can do. That, yes. Go okay, ahead, I'll get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> And you can step up steps, upstairs, you can go down. Okay, so what else has to happen now before this becomes accessible to me so that I become paralyzed? Well, the next couple of steps, we are currently developing uh, number 15 in the lab, and then after that we build number 16, which is our first rehab suit. And that suit will sit in the physical therapy clinic, and a paralyzed person will either climb into it or be placed in it. And with a joystick, they'll drive it, push a button to stand up, they'll go for a walk out in the hallway. And while they're steering the suit, the same way they would steer their powered wheelchair, the robotic legs will walk, pulling them along, and they'll get exercise and mobility at the same time. And then after that, will develop a home use model that they can use instead of a wheelchair. So that's your long-term goal. That's, that's the long-term goal, and especially the, right now you notice this is pretty gadgety, and we've not put any uh, design concerns into how it looks, just how it works. And after we develop 16 uh, and get all the testing done, then we'll make it look better and more streamlined. And with nanotechnology, we'll be able to make a suit small enough to fit under the clothes and they'll be nearly undetectable. A Amazing. complete quadriplegic will be able to play the piano again. And that's not, that's not fantasy, is it? No, it's real technology. It's going on right here in the Seattle area. And how many people, how, how can you get people get involved in this if they're interested in it, either from the standpoint of being disabled or just wanting to help out? For people that are, uh, believe in what we're doing or they're excited about what they're doing, or what we're doing at the lab, is, is they can go and tell two friends about it and go to our website, theyshallwalk.org, and uh, ask for a lab tour. Come on out to the lab and see what we're doing. Wow, that's interesting. Do you get a lot of visitors? A lot of visitors, yes. It's very exciting. And you go out in the community with this too? How do yes, people do. react when they see it? Uh, it's pretty interesting. A lot of people say, what is that? And uh, it's pretty amazing because we have some volunteers that are paralyzed. And when they go out with me and their wheelchair is rolling along next to me, people look at me, they look at the guy in the wheelchair, and they say, oh, I get it. And you're working worldwide too, you mentioned. Yes, we have, uh, we're gearing up for a medical trial in India and Kenya, and we're getting ready to go over there so that the doctors can pick out 50 test pilots that are paralyzed children and adults, so they'll have an opportunity to walk in the suit. And uh, so people can make donations, they can get involved as volunteers and so forth? Yes, they can do that. All that information is at the website, theyshallwalk.org. When you first started to walk with this, what? What did it feel like? Was it, was it a renaissance? It, yeah, it was, it was a dream come true because really it, it took about half hour to learn how to walk in it without falling. But once I got in there and was able to just relax and let the suit do all the work, it was just amazing. It's so fun to drive around in one of these things. You've got to try it. And 20 years ago, an accident started all this. An accident started it all. Well, thank you so much. The organization is called They Shall Walk, and people can get involved, and someday... Yes, someday soon people will be able to get a life suit and they'll be able to walk. And we're, our vision is to give the gift of walking with your help. Great. Thanks for joining us. It's been a while. You know, but and he, and and like we both the bike, so you never really forget how we do it. This has been Community Profiles, SCAN's campaign to connect and empower our communities through media.